Hey y'all, uh, there's a saying, the lie makes it around the world before the truth gets out of bed. Social media blending with the news has created this thing where they make stories just to get clicks. So they made it look like my story was, I have harsh words, harsh words, harsh words for Janelle Monet and Meg Thee Stallion, and I do not. If I were addressing Janelle Monet and Meg Thee Stallion, that would have been clear. The concept that anytime a woman says anything, even in the vicinity of another woman, She's being catty and she's fighting. And so now we got this headline about what I supposedly did. Who I was addressing were the people in the comments explaining to them that the video in question, not Meg the Stallion, not Janelle, but the video in question was out of context for the Essence Festival. Essence is a 53-year-old institution that was always about wholesome black entertainment. The brand shifted right under people's feet. That's what I meant when I said context. What I did was jump into the comment section. And in fact, in defense of someone who's in the comment section trying to explain her a trust of Essence brand being broken, I commented about the context. That's what I did. We all know everybody twerks. Everybody knows who Megan Stallion is. She's one of the biggest stars in the world. And so is Janelle. Everybody knows what they're about and what they do. We weren't saying that they shouldn't do what they do. We were saying context, which is what my message said. The part that really is important that people should know is that the Essence Festival was purchased. And so the new owners are trying to take it in a different direction, and they are. And the rub is that people weren't told that. So now everybody's buying their tickets to go enjoy their weekend down in New Orleans in July, like they've been doing for the last 20, 25 years. And this moment happens on stage. Context, the context is weird. The context is making people uncomfortable. I have a lot more to say about people talking about policing women's bodies, and respectability politics. I have a lot to say about both of those things. And while I feel that I'm a person who has earned the benefit of the doubt, and if you see me make a comment, you can read it with the tone of love. What I am realizing is that sometimes it's just the weather outside. That's what social media is. It's the tone in the air. It captures the tone in the air. So since everybody's arguing, you imagine that I'm arguing too. And so since everybody's trying to police black women's bodies, you imagine that's what I'm about too. And so because everybody is trying to put people in these boxes, you imagine that's what I'm about too. That's not what I'm about. I've always told you what I'm about. For the last 20 plus years, my whole adult life, I've been nothing but uplifting and deeply caring and deeply loving and speaking highly of us as black people always. I released the song Brown Skin, what, 18 years before Brown Skin Girl? I've been about this. I'm still about this. I love us. I have my opinions about things that may differ from other people, but I don't be out here arguing with people. I speak my mind, I share my ideas, but I've always done that. And I'm always going to. So anybody who thinks that I don't even have the right to speak, we disagree off the top right there. So I'm always gonna speak my mind. Always have, I always will. Now what these blogs are saying I did, I can't stop them, which is so annoying that people be out here lying like they do and using other people's energy to create stuff for themselves. And while I cannot stop you from doing it, I'm making this video just to clear up one piece of this. Now we're clear. We'll get clear on the rest another time. <sighs> Yeah, I love y'all, but I don't be liking all y'all. <laughs>